The next uh, and the most interesting test uh, is the excitation curve test uh, that allows uh, to verify the knee point uh, of the current transformer. In this test, uh, what we do is to apply a voltage to the secondary side of the current transformer and uh, increasing it, uh, we reach a moment when the current uh, increases very much. Now, there is an IEC definition uh, of the knee point uh, the knee point is the point when increasing by 10% the voltage, the current increases by 50%. I enter the selection. The knob. Okay. You see, I am uh, working on the standard IEC, and the data that I have to input are the secondary current from, from 5 amps, the voltage rating because doing this, uh, the test set will uh, measure and co will compute, uh, excuse me, the nominal mean. Okay? Uh, 30 volt times uh, internal loss, we can leave it uh, at zero. 5% and this is 10. Okay? It's 10. Now, you see, as soon as I have entered these uh, values, uh, the data set itself is uh, suggesting to connect uh, to the 90 volts uh, output uh, and this is where I have connected it, uh, 90 volts, uh, okay? And it is telling me that the nominal knee is uh, 0 0.25 amps and 60 volts, okay? So I have connected, I go to test. As I press test, uh, the next screen uh, you see, it is telling me milliamps versus watts. And uh, on this screen here, we, we will see, growing up the um, saturation curve of the current transformer, as uh, we uh, increase the current. There is only one important thing to say. It is that you have to move slowly the current control knob, because uh, uh, otherwise you would uh, cause some uh, saturation effect on the current transformer that will uh, cause also some shift uh, on the knee point. The knee point will not uh, change very much if you are fast. If you are too fast, it will change. The other thing that I'm telling you and uh, now we see it, the test set automatically recognizes the key knee point given the IEC situation while you are going down with the current. Okay, I press on and I go up. You see? I'm quite slow. I would say that uh, this operation should last some 30 seconds, if not one minute. You see now we are in the linear part uh, where the voltage that we are applying is causing a linear change in the current. But at some moment, you will see, when we increase the voltage, the current increase, you see, the curve is bending very much, and the current increase is very much, you see. It has suddenly jumped because it is increasing very much. So now, by sure, I am beyond the knee, so I go back with the current, you see, with the voltage and with the current. Okay? And again, do it slowly, because otherwise, as you have saturated the transformer, if you don't go slowly, of course, you leave some remnants into the core of the transformer into the iron of the transformer. And this is no good uh, because uh, that energy, that magnetic energy that you are leaving, uh, will uh, cause some trouble when the current transformer is put back in, into service because that energy has to be nulled before the current transformer comes back to the normal operation. Now look, as soon as uh, I am pressing off, uh, I see here a black dot uh, and this black dot is telling me 
this is the mean point. And the mean point has been found at 6.67 volt. That is 1% different with respect to the nominal value. Okay? The current is less than that, that this means that this is a good transformer. Okay? Now, again, you can save your test result and you better do. Okay? And that's it. When you open, the, when you load the transfer the test result into the PC and open the file, you will just see this saturation curve. 